everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet this puff shell stitch. This stitch is very similar to the one that we worked last week, our cluster shell stitch, except we're using these puff stitches in our shells to give them a little bit more texture, a little bit more of a weight to it, and lacy look. It's the same on both sides. For our tutorial today, we're going to be using a little bit of worsted weight. 100% cotton yarn. This is the Pima Cotton by Lion Brand, as well as a 5mm or H8 crochet hook. Links to these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my website at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here, I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around. This channel is updated every week with a new free crochet stitch tutorial and I would love to hear how you would use this stitch down in the comments also feel free to say hello so let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started our stitch today is worked in rows so we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain and today your foundation chain will need to be a multiple of seven plus two stitches so today I'm going to work a total of 23 chains. And 23. Once you have your foundation chain worked, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. You're then going to skip the next two chains and into your next chain you're going to work a puff stitch chain one and puff stitch chain one all into the same chain. To work your puff stitch you're going to yarn over insert your hook into that next chain, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to do that a total of three times. So there's once, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain, yarn over and drop a loop. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into that chain, yarn over and drop a loop. You will then have seven loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all seven loops. That's your puff stitch chain one and you're going to work one more puff stitch back into that same chain. And chain one. Once you've worked two puff stitches and two chain ones, you're going to repeat that into the next chain. So into the next chain stitch, work a puff stitch chain one, puff stitch, and chain one. You're then going to skip the next two chains and into your next chain work a single crochet. Chain one and we're now going to repeat that all the way across. So skip the next two chains into your next chain, work a puff stitch, chain one, and puff stitch, chain one, repeat that into the next chain, work a puff stitch, chain one and puff stitch chain one skip the next two chains and single crochet into your next stitch repeat that all the way across at the end of your row one 
you're going to chain four, which counts as a double crochet stitch, and turn your work. For row two, we're going to work, or sorry, that chain four counts as a double crochet and a chain one. So for row two, we're going to work a double crochet back into this first single crochet stitch at the base of your turning chain. Chain five, skip all of those puff stitches, and into your next single crochet, you're going to work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Chain five, into your next single crochet, work a double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Repeat this all the way across to your final single crochet, and chain five, and into your final single crochet stitch, you're going to work a double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into that final stitch. That brings you to the end of your row two. For row three, we're going to chain four, which once again counts as a double crochet stitch and a chain one, and turn your work. For row four, you're going to begin by working into this chain one space, and you're going to work a puff stitch, chain one, puff stitch, back into the same chain one space, and chain one. We're now going to work a single crochet. We're going to work our single crochet over top of the chain five and into the center chain one space two rows below. So you have two puff stitches, chain one, and two more puff stitches. So we're going to work over that chain five space into the chain one space between our two puff stitches and work a single crochet stitch. Chain one, into your next chain two space, you're going to work a puff stitch and chain one, and do that a total of four times. So there's once, twice, three times, and one more time, puff stitch, and chain one. So you have a total of four puff stitches in that chain two, then once again, working over top of your chain five and into the center, chain one space, two rows below, work a single crochet and chain one. Repeat that all the way across. So into your next chain two space, you're going to work four puff and chain ones. Just like so, I have one left. Then single crochet working over top of that chain five and into your center chain one space down below and chain one. When you come across to your final double crochet and chain four, which was a double crochet and chain one, into that final chain four space, you're going to work a puff stitch chain one, puff stitch, chain one, and then work a double crochet into your third chain of that turning chain four. And that brings you to the end of your row three. For row four, we're going to chain one. It does not count as a stitch and turn our work. To 
begin row four then you're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch chain two then into your next single crochet work a double crochet chain two and double crochet then just as you did before you're going to chain five into your next single crochet we're skipping all of those puff stitches in between into your next single crochet work a double crochet chain two and double crochet repeat that all the way across chain five into your next single crochet work a double crochet chain two and double crochet when you come to the end of your row you're going to finish off with a chain two and then single crochet into the third chain of that turning chain four and that brings you to the end of row four for row five we're going to chain one and turn our work that chain one does not count as a stitch so to begin row five we're going to work a single crochet into the first stitch and chain one now into your next chain two space you're going to work a puff stitch chain one for a total of four times so there's once two three and four working over top of your chain five and into the center chain one space two rows below work a single crochet chain one and repeat puff stitch chain one and you're going to do that a total of four times in your next chain two space over the next chain five space and into your chain one space two rows below work a single crochet and chain one continue to repeat that all the way across until you come to your final single crochet stitch when you come to your final single crochet you're going to work a single crochet into the top of that final stitch and that brings you to the end of the repeats for this pattern for the rest of the pattern you're going to repeat rows two three four and five for as long as you would like and then fasten off and weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this puff shell stitch so thank you so much for joining me once again, I invite you to subscribe and I look forward to seeing you again next week for another great crochet stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.